So, first thing, as with any other Rubik's Cube, um, you need to scramble it. So, let's scramble it. Okay. Now it's all scrambled. Now the good thing about this cube is it's easier than the 4x4 because you already have centers. 4x4 four four you have to make them. But, and, this one you only need one algorithm. Alright, so, well sometimes two. I'll show you. Okay, so, first, what we want to do is we want to make a 3x3 three three center on all sides. Okay, so, let's start out by putting, let's do the blue side first. So now, do that. Okay, well there's one line. Now look for the other blue piece that would go there, which is there. So if we bring that up like that, if we move that out of the way and bring that up, then, because now that's out of the way, we move this over, bring it down so that those are lined up like that. Blue lines on the bottom, blue lines like that. And then put them over top. Now let's find the other ones. So there's the blue piece here and a blue piece here. Move it so they're like that. That's not harmed. Now where's the middle blue piece? Right there. So because if I move it up like that, it goes on the top. And we want it right there, not up there. So bring it back down. Move the top layer twice, bring it up, bring it up, and then bring it across. Now we have one center done. Now what you want to do is you want to flip it over and do the opposite center, so the green one, and this one, so to find that piece, it's right there, find it there, center line's done. Now this one there, that piece goes there, so just do that, and that, and that, and then move that, now that piece is unharmed like that, and you have those three sides, or those two lines, now there's that one, which is right in the, like, super easy to do, but, as you notice, if I move that, the blue's now messed up, so, to solve that, make it so that there's a line like that and then the line on top of it bring that line up so it pushes that one out of the way turn the top layer so up inverted two times and then bring that back down so it's pretty intuitive how to do that now once you have the two opposite sides choose any one in the middle so we'll choose the red one because it's like closest to being done and there's that piece there, so if we move that out of the way, like I did before, bring that up, bring that up, spin that, spin that, and then that. Now those two are done, now we need to do the last one. And the last one, there's those two, and that one needs to go there. Well, it's right there. So if you bring it like that, put it like that, spin, spin. Now red's all messed up but that's okay. Just bring that up like that, so it's out of the way. Put red back, spin that into its proper place. So now you have two opposite centers and the one in the middle. Now you want to choose one that's beside the red one, so yellow or the white. It looks like the yellow one would be easier to do, so let's do that. So now this yellow piece here, 
because it's a corner of that, we can put it right there. So move that down once and then bring that like that. Now that's out of the way like that and then you can move it to the bottom and just scoot it over and now you have two lines already. Now the last one is that one, that one, and that one. So if you just move it like that and you can spin it like that. Now those two pieces are like that. Move it out of the way. Fix that yellow. Then you can go like this. Yeah. Okay, go like that. So now that they're sideways like that, put that one so that it's at the top, because those are at the top. And then just bring it up, bring it up, move it out of the way, bring it back, bring it back. Actually, don't bring it back quite yet. You want to make sure those are all lined up and then spin that so that those two are out of the way and then bring that back. But it messes the red ones up. So, like we did before, make it so that those two are like that in the same line as that. Bring it up to the top, spin up two times, bring it down. Now those are unmessed up and now it's time for the last two sides. Alright, so now the last two sides are pretty easy. So what you want to do is just choose one side to make the lines, two lines with it. You want to make one line like that and one line like that. It doesn't matter which of the two colors you do it on, if it's white or if it's yellow, or white or if it's pink, sorry. And yes, in mine it's pink because I bought an Ishin cube because I find they're better. So to make two lines on the pink, just go like that, and then spin the top layer twice so it's out of the way, and then bring that up. Now you have, on both sides, you have two pinks, two yellow lines, and then this isn't really an algorithm, but it, well yeah, I guess it is. So there, I guess there's three then. So what you want to do is you want to do R star, U, R prime star, U and U prime. And just repeat that, and those few squares like that and that, they should line up so that you have another line. So R star, U, uh, R prime star, U, whatever. So just continue, or, yeah. You need to do that, and eventually they'll all line up so that they're all in the right spots. See, they're almost there. That and that. There's two there, two there. So we just need to move it, move it, and then the algorithm, and it does it the full thing. Alright, so now we have all the centers done. So now it's time to do edge pairing.